Races and Regattas Races and Regattas, broadcast by Nicolas Venance for Yachting Art Magazine. Races and Regattas is sponsored by MGI Digital Technology, world leader in digital print and embellishment solutions. Hi everybody. Uh, well, not a good, uh, not a good time yesterday. Uh, something wasn't feeling very right, and uh, I uh, was checking around the boat, and I found a problem in the bow, a structural problem, and uh, it's fairly significant. And I will attempt to show you uh, the repair now. It involves going through that uh, that tiny little hole, which I hardly fit through. Uh, so I'll take you in there, show you the repair quickly, uh, or show you what I'm going to have to repair. Okay, so we're going through the hole. And through the hole, you can see uh, in here how the, the structure of the boat works. You've got a, a large uh, longitudinal in the center there, that's full height that goes all the way up to the deck head there. And it runs all the way forward to uh, the, uh, the crash bulkhead. You can see ring frames there. And... Uh, Let's go inside. Okay, so I'm through the uh, tiny hole. It's horribly uh, hot in here and humid. And it's not easy to move around. But uh, I'll attempt to show you what's going on. So when I came up here yesterday, this is what I found. And I've marked everything out. So you can see now that... Uh, but this central longitudinal is broken in several places. It's broken. You can see it cracked here. In fact, it's uh, this taping's off the hull there. This uh, cap is broken here. It's uh, not attached anymore. It's cracked across here. Um, but that's not it. When we turn around, unfortunately, it's also broken. You can see it's broken here. The cap is broken here. It's broken all the way through here. It's also uh, busted there. It's cracking here. Further up, we can see it's broken through here. Hi again. Well, I'll just uh, give you an idea of the conditions out here. Beautiful day. It's quite lumpy. A bit treacherous inside that bow when you don't know which way is coming. But uh, I've got laid out here everything I've got to cut. I'm going to cut outside, try and keep the dust out of the way. So uh, I'll just give you a quick look at what we got. This isn't everything, but uh, there's quite a lot of what I have on board. Some of it's I've cut already. Um, some uh, four millimeter solid carbon plate there. And then these are the girders I was talking about. So most of those we're going to have to use. There's some off cuts of, of stuff I've uh, already cut for the first repair. Another piece of C-plate, bit thinner this piece, 2 millimeter, nice big piece, I've got to cut that into a fancy shape. Um, this uh, trellis panel, as is called, uh, has already been chopped up. Another piece of thinner C-plate just here, that's really thin, that stuff. And uh, that's a piece of cord panel, so uh, you'll be able to see it's uh, not solid, it's a piece of cord. So pretty much... All of this is going to now get chopped up into pieces. Just been trying to mark out exactly how these new bits are going to go and where the cracks are just to make sure that uh, our designer engineers are all on the same page, so um, I'm going to do a slight revision to it. But uh, basically, I've got to have to cut out, out of that panel you can see there. I've got to cut this this shape out and, uh, and this shape over here. So the next step in this process is uh, preparation and I think uh, most boat builders would probably say it's the key to good boat building is good preparation. And, uh, unfortunately that means getting mucky, dirty and lots of sanding so that's what I've been up to. Um, 
preparing the surfaces uh, that it's going to go on, the pieces I've cut, and the pieces themselves. And um, you have to key the surface up, wrap it up, so that the adhesive has got something to adhere to, something to grip to. So, pretty unpleasant job. One of the reasons why I would never want to be a bow builder. So, lots of sanding, lots of grubbiness in this little black hell, hell hole. Fortunately, it's so humid in here that the dust didn't really travel so much. So, uh, now I've got to clean it up and get ready for the next stage. Gluing and fixing. Thank you for being more and more numerous to follow us and don't hesitate to subscribe to our YouTube channel.